Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, should pass over into the realm of heaven, grant, we pray, to your departed servants that with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and Redeemer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. <clears throat> the souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought and affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction, but they are in peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation they shall shine, and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loneliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Rather, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to what is seen, but to what is unseen. For what is seen is transitory, but what is unseen is eternal. For we know that if our earthly dwelling, a tent, shall be destroyed, we have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus arrived in Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, I know he will rise. Your brother is, will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we commemorate a day dedicated to all the faithful departed, our readings today speak about life here on earth and a longing for life in all eternity. And probably as human beings, one of the most difficult things to experience in life is the death of a loved one. Whether it be a parent, a sibling, a child, a spouse, there's always that time where when they die and their physical presence is no longer with us, that we grieve and we long to see them, we long to hear their voice, to have the, uh, to uh, smell their scents, whatever it might be, eventually in time, that seems to heal a little bit. I think as we look at that concept and we look at what we are about, in sacred scripture, it's so clear that when the earthly body dies, life is changed, not ended. And I think we have to really dwell on that because life is one continuous line, to, so to speak. You know, we are with God. We are here on earth. Hopefully we try to be with God as much as we can here on earth. And God willing, we're with God in the end for all eternity. Today, as we pray for our beloved dead, we pray for those who 
maybe have not seen God's face yet, that someday they will enjoy that eternal happiness. For us, for those who still walk this earth, our goal is to get to heaven. Our goal is to have eternal life. Our goal is to see our life changed into a glorious body. Let us pray today in hope that for us when we die, when our earthly remains are no longer here, that life is changed, not ended, and that we enjoy that eternal glory with our Creator and our Redeemer. Let us pray. For the church, may the Lord shine his light upon her as she stands in the world as a light of hope for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may the spirit of peace and justice guide their thoughts and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering, may the blessing and consolation of the Lord be upon them and give them strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may the grace of our union with Christ in both his death and resurrection Sustain us in difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they soon enter the heavenly banquet of the Lord and lie in peaceful rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, Receive the prayers we offer this day for all the faithful departed and answer these prayers in accordance to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, Lord, in your kindness, the sacrificial offering we make for all your servants who sleep in Christ, that set free from the bonds of death, by this singular sacrifice, they may merit eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For it is at your summons that we come to birth, 
by your will that we are governed, and at your command that we return on account of, on account of sin to that earth from which we came. And when you give the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with his glorified body. Amen. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through these sacrificial gifts which we have received, O Lord, bestow on your departed servants your great mercy, and to those you have endowed with the grace of baptism, grant also the fullness of eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Saint Michael, we are an angel. Defend us in heaven. We are protection against the wicked.